What is up guys, Zan from playbook.gg and in today's video we're going to take a look at a one play touchdown out of the single back trio formation which is one of the formations in our newest offensive game plan on Playbook GG. Before we dive into this video make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the great tutorials that we've got headed your way here on the playbook.gg YouTube channel. Okay guys, so welcome back. Now in today's video, we're going to take a look at a one play touchdown out of the play PA solid corner. This is found in the single back trio formation, which is one of the formations broken down in great detail by Madden 16 champion Stiff on Playbook GG. This is our newest game plan on the website. As you guys know, Stiff is always an under center player, plays a really interesting ball control style, always has some unique route combinations and ways of thinking about the game that translates really well to teaching you guys how to get your offense rolling and playing more of a possession style game now when Ant cap and i got in the lab with this we found this one play touchdown that we think complements this game plan very very well now you guys can get this game plan and everything else on the website for nine dollars and 95 cents per month you can opt out at any time that includes all of our defenses all of our offenses plenty of content on the website for you guys to consume go ahead and check it out it's a great deal for 9.95 now let's go ahead and get into today's tip Again, we are running the play PA solid corner. Now, this is a very, very cute one play touchdown. What I like to do with this play is I like to streak the A tight end. I like to run the receivers to the short side of the field. We're going to smart route the middle receiver. You can drag the X receiver and block the running back. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna motion this route. Now, this is a route that we've thrown a lot on Playbook GG. As you guys know, that this is a route that breaks underneath of cover three. You could throw that down pretty easily. Um, as you see, the corner kind of sags off of this coverage, uh, especially in the cover three. They really have to play a press cover three or cover four on the outside to stop this throw. But you can see that this is an easy out breaking route. It's good for about 12 to 15 yards on the sideline. And what you can see is that that outside corner kind of drifts off of this a little bit much. And that's why you can complete that. Now, this is where the one play touchdown is really tricky. A lot of players look at the, the field and they can tell right away if they're giving up a one play touchdown in cover three. This is one that does not work that way. This is actually a route bouncing cover three one play touchdown. Because what you're going to do is you're going to let this play progress. And as soon as Edelman route bounces off the sideline, it's going to pull that outside third down. So watch this. He's going to bounce and boom, sucks him down. You see how it sucks him down? That's going to allow us to throw that ball all the way over the top for the one play score. And actually that example was a bad example. He did not route bounce and jet back over the middle quickly. There will be examples where you will notice that he does that and that corner will jump down on the route immediately. We'll try to get you an example of that here. Uh, so we snap it again you have the window to throw to him if not let him bounce you see right here boom he bounces if he doesn't or if he doesn't pull that corner down throw that route back across the field if he does route bounce and break into the corner's window the corner will drop down within his zone grid and he'll take that throw away from you um so uh we'll, we'll go ahead and try to show this to you a lot of it does have to do with your motion snap timing um so a little bit later is going to be better results typically they hit the sideline and then bounce a little bit sooner see how he bounces pulls that guy up there's the example we're looking for right there and that's going to allow you to throw that ball now obviously you don't want to lead it into the safety kind of a sideways pass lead will get you the ball there very very easy to do this so we'll go ahead and show that to you again really good example kind of wait to snap it a little bit and that'll allow you to have him route bounce off the sideline so we wait on it wait on it now we snap the ball now he's going to run the route He's going to jump back over the middle, pulling down that guy. Now we throw the sideways pass lead, and that ends up being the one-play score. So this is a very cute one-play touchdown in that the guy that you're using is the pull route is also a quick passing option. You can't really say that too much about other one-play scores in the game. Typically, the route that's the pull route is decoying a player. In this example, he's open at first, and then he's going to be covered later, and that's why the one-play score work so this is a great complimentary play um, for this offense that stiff has put on the website we just launched it today make sure you guys check that out if you guys like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys tomorrow with our next upload if you like this video check out one of the videos on your screen right now and for more in-depth analysis visit www.playbook.gg for detailed game plans written by pro madden players master the game with playbook.gg